Welcome. Let me talk about something that's not particularly deep and not particularly worthwhile mathematically, other than it's a good little thing just to help kids uh, think to take perspective on matters, not to be locked into algorithms and procedural thinking, but if you take a step back and think about meta-analysis can be very helpful for students. And what I'd like to do is just to illustrate this with a little division problem. Suppose I want to work out, say, 835 divided by 97. All right, if I think of this as a practical problem, that I say I have $8.35 and I want to buy some candy bars and each candy bar is worth 97 cents. How many candy bars could I buy and how much change would I have left over? Well, basically each candy bar is basically a dollar and I've got $8.35, so I can certainly buy eight candy bars. And what's my remainder going to be? Well, saying each candy bar was a dollar is not quite right. I'm off by three cents. For every dollar I didn't really spend, I have three cents left over. So I have eight lots of three cents left over, plus I have this extra 35 cents hanging around. So it's really eight with a remainder of 24 plus 35, that's 59. There it is, 835 divided by 97 must be eight remainder 59. That's all I really wanted to point out. But this little sort of meta-analysis is, is good for kids to practice with. For example, suppose I want to do 712 divided by 98. Well, it's basically dividing by 100, I'll have seven lots of that. And what's the remainder going to be? Well, for each 100, I'm off by two, so I'll have seven lots of two left over, plus I have this 12 cents sitting up here. So the answer is seven remainder, 14 plus 12 is 26. Uh, let's do another one, I'll change colors. Suppose I want to do, say, 1,014 divided by 87. Okay, 87 is pretty close to 100, so it's basically 1,000 divided by 100. It's going to be 10, with the remainder, well, for each 100 I used, I'm actually off by 13. So I've got uh, 10 lots of 13, plus this extra 14 that I never even considered in my mind. So it's really 10 remainder, 130 plus 14, 144. Uh, but actually, I can squeeze another 87 out of that. So it's really going to be 11, with the remainder of 44 plus 13 is 57. 11 remainder 57. Um, just to push thinking and practice a little bit, uh, first of all, let me make some space. You can have kids practice doing other things, what's easy to think about, what's not easy to think about. I'm not necessarily recommended as a, a worthwhile method to teach, and then just a discussion on meta-analysis. Um, what if I want to do is say, say 924 divided by 48. Well, 48 really is like 50. So it's really like 900 divided by 50. So it's really like 900 divided by 100, but double that. So it must be 18 with some remainder. Um, how much remainder am I going to have? Well, for each 50, I have a remainder of 2, so 18 lots of 2, plus the 24 cents up here I never actually used. So really the answer is 18 with a remainder of uh, 36 plus 24, remainder of 60, but I can squeeze another 48 out of that. It's really 19 with a remainder of 12. There it is, a cute little trick just to play with and have fun with. In fact, if you want to even do it, things like uh, uh, 216 divided by 7. I'll let you work that one out. Think of the 7 as really close to being 10. All right, thanks very much.